We, the leadership from Northern Kenya, are deeply dismayed by the Deputy President's recent public statements yesterday, as a, as a matter of fact, questioning the integrity and const, uh, competence of constitutional office holders. That also includes the President himself, questioning, in other words, not only other officers in, 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 in constitutional offices, but the President's ability to make the right decisions for Kenyans in matters of appointment. The presidency, including the office of the De deputy president, bears significant responsibilities and commands respect under the constitution of Kenya. Yet the deputy president's actions in discussing senior uh, civil servants and the president himself in a press statement, instead of taking his concerns to the president and members of the National Security Committee uh, is uh, reckless and unfortunate. We, the leaders, firmly support the President's decision to withdraw the Finance Bill 2024 in response to widespread dissatisfaction expressed through nationwide protests. This decision, which in our view was duly informed by the President, through all the different arms of the government that are, have the responsibilities of such information, in our opinion, was a well thought out and a very good thing to protect the stability and the unity of our country. We also believe that critical, what happened is that whereas the Gen Z, uh, boys and girls, had legitimate concerns, they were nonetheless infiltrated by criminal elements and the legitimate peaceful demonstrators were their issue or their own what you call cause was watered down. It resulted in losses of life, looting of businesses and destruction of property. These criminals who undoubtedly were sponsored by people infiltrated the peaceful and legitimate process, protests, and, and brought mayhem to Kenyans. The motive of the, of the president, of the deputy president, to try and come barely an hour after the president has issued his own statement, which was arrived at with consultation, by all the members of parliament who voted for the bill and who basically informed the president also and who were, who, who, who were, were happy that this momentous decision was reached by the president to withdraw this uh, uh, bill in its entirety until such a time that uh, where something else is, is, is he, he engages the Gen Z and engages all other stakeholders who have expressed their own dissatisfaction with the with the with the with the previous uh, uh, with the previous bill. His Excellency, the Deputy President, or rather, would I say, Gregathe Gashagwa, and associates have gone on a potentially destabilizing movements of the government of the day. They want to bring down this government. Gregathe today is the leader of the opposition in this country. And not just a genuine opposition that is out there to correct the government by telling the government what to do and what not to do in terms of public participation, but one that is designed to bring down this government by trying to manipulate criminal elements within the society. The pres Deputy President must have come out and clarify to the Kenyan public his knowledge of the individuals who were responsible for the violence that took over the otherwise peaceful protests of the Gen Z and caused a lot of mayhem in this country. The unfortunate utterances of the Deputy President demean and undermine the sanctity and honor of the presidency and the government he serves. We call upon, whereas Rigade Gachagua continues to serve as the Vice Deputy President of this country, we call on him to resign immediately. If he's not happy with this president, let him resign from this administration and let him prepare himself for the contest 
in 2027. He can run in as a presidential candidate in 2027. And if he's going to be popular with the Kenyan people, we will see what he's going to do. You cannot become a president of this country by continuously dividing Kenyans along ethnic lines, along class lines, along all sorts of things. It's our knowledge, and this is to be corroborated, that when the president, out of wisdom and, 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 and stability of mind, decided to reach out to the opposition leader, the right honorable uh, former prime minister, uh, 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 Raila Amolo Odinga, the deputy president, vociferously opposed that. Opposed that. And right now, he is the principal opposition person in this country, instead of being the principal assistant to the president of the Republic of Kenya. Ordinarily, when the president is making such a momentous decision, the understanding or the, the normal functioning of a government is that he should have been sitting next to his own boss and also partaking in, the, in, in what they call the ideas so that he can protect his own government. But here he is, not protecting his own government, trying to divide it along ethnic lines, along political lines, and all sorts of things that basically only are self-serving himself. We know that the decision sometimes back when the demonstrations were ongoing to try and remove the rails in our own expressway and the, and the decision to go and attack the farm of our, our former president, the immediate former president, Uhuru Kenyatta, the Kenyatta family, in Northlands itself, was himself. He is the one who recruited the goons who were sent out there. So we, this country cannot, cannot, shall not, will not, be led by such divisive elements in this country. This country needs real sober statesmen to lead them. The man is only a heart, is only a heartbeat away from the presidency. He probably thinks that by pushing this thing, the president will run away to another country and is going to be sworn in as the next president of this country. <laughs> that will never happen. That, that essentially is informed by the fact that he was only a one-term MP when he became a, a deputy president. So we are saying, and saying this to Kenyans, there is no problem between the warrior nation and the Kikuyu nation. There is no problem between the Luos and the, and, and, and the Kikuyus. There is no problem between any community, Kalenjin, Somali, Kisi, Abaluya, anything. Kenyans are one family. Politicians who are self-seeking will try and divide this country along ethnic lines, along regional lines. And we are telling the, deputy, the current deputy president, please resign and then go and Face your own, what do you call, uh, 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 desires and ambitions to become a president of this country in your own courageous way.